Hello, beautiful Capricorns. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. We're doing a you versus them love reading, and we're going to do a check in and see what's going on with your person of interest. You will be on the right hand, the left hand side. Your person of interest will be on the right hand side. The overall energy is, ooh, soulmates, Capricorn. What is going on? The penguins. And in North America, we are about to enter the colder season. So this could be new love. It could be somebody that's been around a while. But I like the energy. How beautiful is that? I am trying to grow the channel. So if you do like the video, I always appreciate it when you like, subscribe, share, comment, do anything. But we're looking at your energy first, Capricorn. We are going to look at your thoughts, your feelings, and your intentions with this person. Let's see what we have. Your thoughts about this person. Well, sometimes you just want to walk away. I feel as though you want to be happier. You don't want to have discord in the relationship. You're walking towards the sun. The eight of cups is when we just say, you know, I don't care about anything else. Happiness is what I'm seeking. We get that you think about this person with great love in your heart. You cherish them. You definitely feel as though they have been uh, an important part of your journey at this time in your life. The Seven of Cups, that's you keeping your options open and or I can flip that around. That can be indecision on your part, but it can also be confusion about you're feeling confused or you're thinking in a confused way because you, you don't know yet what your person thinks about you. We get the energy, Sagittarius energy for your heart space. I love this for you, Capricorn. You like that this person is easy to get along with. You like that they are outgoing, that they're fun, that they have a good heart. There's a little guardian angel there when we look at temperance. And so it tells me that you feel that this is a very, very good person. You want a victory with them. You would love to be seen with them, to introduce them to all of your friends, for you to be introduced to their friends and the world card. You, you could see this as your happily ever after. For many of you, this is very much what you want is you want great success and love uh, with a committed relationship with this person. Eight of Swords, when we get your intentions, you're not really intending to do much. It looks like you're going to sit back, relax, and see if this other person takes action. Capricorn, celebratory energy. I always love that. Nine of Cups is all about joy, happiness, love, dancing on top of the world. You also think highly of this person. This is, ouch, okay, but your intention is Ten of Swords. Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords. So what I'm getting here is that for the majority of you who are watching, this person has left you <clears throat> in a way that you don't understand. I wouldn't say that they're definitely out of your life, but it looks as though you think that they are. You feel as though they've walked away, forcing you to walk away. You feel as though you don't really know what they're doing or what they're up to. Let's look and see what your feelings are. Let's see for our Capricorns. What are your thoughts, feelings, and intentions with this person? Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have King of Swords. King of Swords is a very aloof energy. It's kind of cold. It's like the surgeon who comes in to heal the patient. Oh, I have to cut you first, but... You know, the energy is that this person wants to slow walk the relationship, and I don't see them feeling very commitment oriented. I get the energy of the page of pentacles, knight of pentacles. There could be an age difference. This person could also be somebody who's divorced with a child or with other responsibilities. The in that's the way, way they're thinking about the situation in terms of their heart space, is they feel as though Capricorn. They feel as though they could go the distance with you. They can build a legacy with you. There is great happiness in the potential of this relationship. Ten of Pentacles is all about creating a legacy, a family legacy. We get the energy also of the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands says that they would like to make a choice in which you are their person. In their heart space, they see you as the one that they want to fulfill destiny with. We get the energy of the seven of pentacles. So this person in their heart space is invested in the relationship. But I don't think that you are feeling that they are. You're feeling, I think, 
very uncertain about how they feel about you. Oh, I love the strength card. The strength card is the ability to go the distance with you. This is a person who has a strong uh, feeling of love towards you. Ten of Wands, though. Ten of Wands is giving up burdens. Ten of Coins is... You know, we've got a lot of tens here. So there's there's some finality, ten of swords, ten of wands, ten of pentacles. So we're also looking at this person is someone who feels that they have to heal something. I'm going to go out on a limb here. Well, not really, <laughs> but I'm going to say that for many of you who are Capricorns, you may be in a situation with someone who's married. And that's what it looks like for many of you. And it looks as though this person adores you, loves you, wants you. But it looks like they have other considerations that they just don't think that they can fight against. So with the fact that you feel as though they've walked away, you're confused, you feel stabbed in the back, you feel there's nothing you can do um, other than just be who you are, experience, you know, it does look like you're very happy that you've built a very good life for yourself. But when it comes to this person, it looks as though they're, they're basically sleeping on the job. The four of swords is usually somebody who's literally asleep, trying to recover. And that's from battle wounds. The 10 of wands says that they can't really endure too much pressure. And it does look like that pressure is coming from a traditional marriage. So when I get the energy on your side, I see you as probably being single. Um, but I feel like your person has a lot of marriage energy here. Now, if the two of you are married, I would say that the relationship can be healed. Absolutely. The strength of the love in the relationship is very powerful. And that your person could be acting in sort of a, a pushy way. I don't want to use the word arrogant because I don't think the person, this person intends to be arrogant. What I do think, though, is that they always think they're right. So your impression of them would be, oh, my God, like, you know, they're so arrogant. They always think they're right. Now, I, this person is not correct about how they're going to achieve happiness either. I'm getting that they just don't know what else to do other than to let the relationship between the two of you go. Again, if the two of you are married, I feel as though your person is very focused on the marriage itself and in making it better, you know, wanting to be successful, wanting to solve problems. Let's look here right now and see what your, your advice is. We have Buffalo Spirit. The abundant universe will provide. Okay, so providing answers. That's important. It's really nice when spirit provides answers for us. We like that. We also get bring a gentle touch. So what I'm seeing for you, Capricorn, is somebody that is very different from you, who has other responsibilities. And I think for you, given the fact that you're not going to take action with the Eight of Swords, that self-imposed restriction, and the Ten of Swords, you're going to let this person walk away if that's what they're doing. And I feel as though timing is the issue here. There's no lack of love. You, the two of you are soulmates, very clearly stated. And I feel as though this is going to simply have to be worked out over time when this person recognizes that they've done all that they can do and there's nothing more to do within a failed marriage or relationship. I do get skunk spirit. Know your worth. Oh, Capricorn. It is a very, very nice reading for you. This is going to take time to play out. But I want to thank you so much for everything. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Help me grow the channel, please. Thank you.